I am so tired of talking about Joe Biden. I have zero intention on making multiple Joe Biden videos on this channel. You know, we'll talk about politics and how it impacts all of us, right? The people. But I have no interest in making multiple videos about the election, especially because of the toxicity that comes with it. However, this video I am making because I feel like it's really important that the cat is kind of coming out the bag a little bit, right? That I don't believe Joe Biden likes President Obama. And now that's a little more confirmed because on Morning Joe, Joe Scarborough, who, of course, um, you know, when Trump was first getting in, oh, I'm so close to the Trump administration. Then, you know, the tide turned and, you know, that wasn't popular for where he wanted to be, for what he wanted to be. And I think because Trump maybe iced him out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Now he's so close, has a personal relationship with the Biden administration. Take what you will from that. But he went and he went on his show and he said, oh, you know, the Biden campaign believes that Barack Obama is behind this campaign to take him down. So the Biden campaign, a.k.a. Joe Biden and the folks around him, believe that Barack Obama is the one leading the charge to get him out of the race. But I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And I'm going to tell you why, because you probably missed signs. So let's get into it. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Reality Check with Jess. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new here, please make sure that you like and subscribe and ring that bell. That way you can stay up to date whenever I post my videos. And I also have my cash app in the bottom to our blessed if you're able and willing to donate. Let's get into this one, right? First and foremost, let's go back to the beginning because you probably don't even remember that Joe Biden ran against Barack Obama in the Democratic primary, right? When Barack Obama was elected in 2008. Okay, so he was in the primary. He did not make it. I think that was like his third time trying to run for president, at least his second. He did not make it. Barack Obama secures the the primary election, right? He gets chosen by voters overwhelmingly, clearly. And obviously, the reason why Barack Obama chose him was because Joe Biden was an old white guy, right? He was an old white guy with connections. And he knew that coming in as a young man or, you know, relatively young, you know, especially in politics, racialized as black, looking the way he looks with the name that he has, he needed an old white dude to lend him some credibility with the voters who or give them some comfort who weren't exactly comfortable yet with the idea of this guy being the head in charge. You know what I mean? Or feeling like, oh, my gosh, he's going to change America so radically, which he did not and did not happen. And Barack Obama definitely was no radical in any way, shape or form. If you actually look at him and his policies, like not at all. Um, but they, you know, there is, you know, they we say the swing voters. Well, the swing voters are the ones that um, a lot of times, not all, but they are like, OK, well, maybe I'll give this a chance, but you can't make me too uncomfortable. And you can decide what comfort means to them. Obviously, it's different on the individual, but that's the reality. So. He picks him for that. Joe Biden is, you know, the what the senator from Delaware. He's got the corporate connections, corporate donors, because Delaware is a corporate safe haven. And he is also friendly with folks on both sides of the aisle. So far on the other side of the aisle that he was actually cozy with segregationists. That's the reality. Those are the facts, right? So when he picks him to be his VP, Biden tells President Obama, well, you know, this is not going to be a vanity role for me. I need to have say in X, Y, and Z, and you need to have a meeting with me at least once a week where we sit down and, you know, we talk about these things and I express my concerns and my ideas and you really listen, right? Because 
the vice president role is really a vanity role. That is the truth, right? It is somebody they pick to kind of basically bolster them up to get those extra votes in. Um, but yeah, they really don't do much. And so Barack Obama, you know, appeases that and says, okay. And so Biden basically gets this role as a vice president where he does have some say and gets to, you know, I don't want to say lead the charge, but essentially on some things, not really lead the charge, but he gets to have a significant input on some things, you know, where, where he decides, oh, no, I, I, w- I want my voice to be heard on this, right? I'm not leading the charge, but he gets to have this input. So then rolls around 2016 after two terms of President Obama. But Biden's son, Bo, had passed away. Biden wants to run. Barack Obama tells him, hey, stand down. Why don't you grieve? Because you literally just lost your son. Don't take on this sort of campaign right now, right? Because that's when Donald Trump was first running. And, you know, Democratic Party propped up Hillary Clinton, who nobody liked. Sorry, that's the truth. You have a subsection of people who do like her, but most people do not like Hillary Clinton, did not like Hillary Clinton, don't like Hillary Clinton. They forced Hillary Clinton down everyone's throats, even though the fan favorite among the people, the populist candidate, was Bernie Sanders. And it came out later that the Democratic Party, the DNC, hamstrung him and sabotaged him. That is a fact. That is a fact has come out whether you like bernie or not that's a fact um then you know 2016 the election goes to donald trump so apparently biden has behind the scenes um blamed president obama for that in terms of president obama telling him not to run especially being that biden won in 2020 saying hey we would have never gotten trump if you know you didn't tell me not to run and if i didn't listen to you And so now we get to 2020, where President Biden is now president, and he picks Kamala Harris. He picks Kamala Harris because Jim Clyburn helped him secure the votes, a.k.a. rallied um, all the people who he had influence with, because he is like a lifelong politician, uh, rallied everybody to get behind Joe Biden, and gave him some level of credence with um, black voters who respect him, right? And kind of rallied the troops for Joe Biden because Bernie again was winning. He wiped him clean with the first primaries and Biden was not going to win that 2020 Democratic primary. Uh, You actually had a congressman who was on CNN recently who just admitted that, that they basically got the call and said, hey, we all need to get behind Joe, even though Bernie's winning everything and that's what they did. And that's what pushed him to win that they, you know, certain people dropped out, endorsed him, blah, blah, blah. And they all rallied their troops, their donors, their everything to get behind Joe Biden, even though the people wanted Bernie again. So then you get to that point. So he picks Kamala Harris because Clyburn's like, well, you better have a black woman in that spot. Because, you know, we've we we got you in right now because you were going to lose and we rallied the support. That is what pushed you over the edge. The data shows that the data shows it. okay? and it's like you can't then just keep taking this, quote unquote, black vote for granted. Um, We need to show that we need to show something or else basically Democratic Party is going to lose it because they're going to be like, no, we're not we're not doing this again. You know what I mean? And pay it forward. Right. Because (laughs) you were basically a failed presidential candidate multiple times and a young black man got you in. You need to pay it forward now and break that glass ceiling. So he gets Kamala Harris as VP. I don't believe he likes Kamala Harris. Because the whole time that she's been his vice president, he has hamstrung her and cut her off at the knees. And I mean, her national profile is way worse than it was when she first entered. Now, mind you, also just to back it up, when I, you know, he won a Kamala Harris also because, oh, great, I could say it's a black woman. I could say it's an Asian woman and I could check these boxes and I can rally troops and say, oh, don't you see yourself at her? Come vote for me because I'm going to have her. So he was able to secure multiple groups. women. Black women, uh, Asian women, 
black men, Asian men. So he felt like he could get this pool of minority voters and um, women. Right. And so, like I said, I don't believe he likes her. And I don't believe he likes her because, like I said, her national profile has really decreased significantly under him, um, where her reputation has taken a turn for the worse. People are like, where is she? What does she do? Um, why is she saying a word salad? You know, it's not like these things didn't exist before with her, you know, just kind of like talking in a circle of nothing um, or not necessarily being honest because, you know, politicians, you know, that's what they do. She is an establishment politician like the rest of them. Um, but it has looked significantly worse since she's been VP. And in all these speeches he's given about whether he's going to stay in the race, he has said, I, 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 every single time. He has not once until now, actually, just recently, one speech said, oh, I wouldn't uh, have chosen her to be my vice president if I didn't believe she could be president one day. Right. Just in case. Because this whole time he's been saying, I am the only one that can be Donald Trump. I am the only one that can do this. I am the only one. He did not say the Biden Harris administration is the only one that can do it. Me and Kamala, we're the only ones that can do it. We are the only ones that can beat Donald Trump and take him down. And our administration has done so great. He has not done that. It has been I, I, I all about him. So I think this is very interesting. Like I said, I'm not going to do all these videos on this man. I just want to give my thoughts on this particular one, especially because it came out that his campaign is blaming Barack Obama and saying Barack Obama is the one behind, um, you know, people calling for him to step down, which is absurd. OK, even if Barack Obama is saying, hey, I don't think he should be up there right now. You are crazy if you think that he is the reason why people think that this man is not fit to be in office when people have seen videos of him stumbling, mumbling, and looking confused, okay? I'm not saying that he should or he shouldn't, but the reality is you cannot blame Barack Obama for that. Even if he is putting the calls behind the scene and say, hey, guys, we all know what we see. I don't think this is gonna work. And they respect him and they say, okay, they wanna go out publicly. Or the fact that people call him almost for a blessing to go out publicly and he's like, hey, I'm not gonna tell you not to. Right. Which is supposedly reportedly George Clooney. Um, he knew that George Clooney ahead of time was going to say that um, the president Biden should step down. The only reason why that even matters at all with George Clooney is because he's a big mega donor and host these parties to get donations for him. And it just shows how the donors rule politics. That's the reality. Um, but that's all I got on this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you feel like this whole, you know, besties routine, Laverne and Shirley um, thing between him and Obama is real? Or do you feel like this is more of like a frenemy thing right now? You know, because in politics, it's like they like who they can use. And that's the reality. And when you get what you get out of somebody, you're kind of done with them a lot of times. I mean, people do that in real life, too, outside of politics. Um, and how do you feel that he thinks about Kamala Harris? Because I don't feel like the support's really been there. Um, I don't feel like there's been any attempt to really elevate her and to kind of give her a layup into potentially, you know, securing the presidency, which most vice presidents actually don't win presidential elections just to just to be frank, historically, that usually actually doesn't happen, but to at least even try. So let me know your thoughts on this one, guys, and I'll speak to you on the next one.